Rebel against defeat, chase excellence, masculinity, men first. What a great day, it's Saturday. And I don't hear any voices in the background nagging at me or making demands or getting upset because I'm doing something I love. You know, that's a great thing about Red Pill. It offers freedom, but, but more importantly, it offers you choices to obtain that freedom. The choice and the consequence, but the choice more importantly to do whatever the hell you want. You want to get on your Harley? Do it. You want to ride your mountain bike? Do it. You want to get out and have a beer and just watch the sunset and just chill out? Do it. You want to put some ACDC on? Awesome. Blare it. Red pill brings choices and that is freedom. Choices, freedom, results. Got a wedding announcement in the mail from a buddy of mine. He's on his third marriage. You know, the red pill only comes to those that are ready for it. And I can't help but think that, you know, the chance of him having success this time around in his late 40s, early 50s, are slim to none. And someday maybe he'll show up and he'll, he'll hear something. He'll look at the life I have or the life of a buddy of ours and realize that that red pill is wonderful. But the reality is this. Eventually, all men will come to terms. They can either take that fork in the road that leads down the red pill or they can, they can continue to believe the lies and the myths that Disney and TV and uh, all the other movies have spun to help us think differently. You made a choice for Red Pill, and that brings a, a tremendous amount of freedom. That freedom will make you happier if you allow it, if you get out there and make yourself better. This is Rebel Against Defeat, Chase Excellence, Masculinity, Men First.